Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support towards the analysis of this channel. Today I want to speak about the reality towards the claims of Jubilee Party always blaming Raila Molo Odinga's ODM party. When it comes to this issue of IALA and the issue of these committees that certain members of Azimio Moja as minority in the house were to select some individual to represent them in several committees in the parliament. And that is such issues that this Mount Kenya region are coming out to blame Raila Molodinga. We want to put things very correct. And you must understand this thing. This was something that I saw somewhere. And I want to say it like this. When Iala gave Kenya nine positions, the popular parties were they want to divide themselves with those seats. So those qualified political parties were UDA party and ODM party. And even you can see the way the political party fund was divided. It shows that UDA party was number one, ODM party was number two. Then when it comes to dividing themselves, in the position that the Iyala East African Parliament gave to Kenya, UDA was to take five positions, then ODM was to take four. When you look at the reality of situations, UDA has squandered all five positions, and that is Omar Hassan uh, Sangok. We are having someone called Geoffrey Mwangi and we are having others that were in UDA party. When you look at the generosity of ODM party, they were also to squander all those four positions. What did ODM do? Because of that sharing in a coalition, ODM took two positions. Yes, ODM took two positions. And that was for Winnie Odinga, that was elected, and Shabal from Mombasa County. Then other two, one was given to Jubilee Party. Two was given to Wiper. And the Jubilee Party has managed to give uh, to vote for Kanini Kega. Kanini Kega managed to get it. When it comes to Wiper Party, Kennedy Kalonzo Msioka managed to get it. I want to put things very clear. I think at times these leaders from Mount Kenya region, they must spare Raila Amolo Odinga. Without any fear of contradiction, they must respect Raila Mulodinga. Let them also respect ODM party. If this was the ODM that they used to, then ODM could have squandered these old positions. After ODM has divided this into these political parties, then Jubilee Party, led by Kanini Kega, Jeremiah Kioni, and others are claiming that ODM sabotaged them when it comes to voting in the House. The reason why Jubilee Party felt like they were sidelined, they never agreed. And that is why they presented Kanini Kega, they presented Jeremiah Kioni, and they presented Fatou Magedi. Those three. And because of these people, they never understand whatever was happening. On the other side of ODM, they agreed on two people. That was Shabal, and that was Winnie Odinga. Two positions. When it comes to Wiper Party, they presented only Kennedy Misioka. And that is why you see Kennedy Misioka got massive support. Because he was only in Wiper Party. 
But when it comes to Jubilee, they presented three people. Ladies and gentlemen, who is to be blamed? Literally, these Mount Kenya leaders, they are speaking recklessly towards Raila Mulodinga. Some of them, they have come out to claim that they failed because they failed to clinch their seats in the Mount Kenya region because of Raila Mulodinga. I want to ask you a simple question. If you know that Raila Mulodinga was going to cause you not to clinch your seat, you could have just vied with UDA or any other political party that was not associating with Raila Mulodinga. Because even Raila Mulodinga has been having massive support without Mount Kenya region. This is the reality. You like it or you don't like it. This boast, boastfulness of Kikuyu's, let me not generalize, but these leaders from Gamer Nation, they've come always to offend Hit Raila Mulodinga hard. Today, that second office that Rigadi Gashago is holding, it is because of that work of Raila Mulodinga and others and other leaders in this Republic of Kenya that made the constitution of 2010 at the past. These people who are enjoying this constitution, they never vote yes for this con constitution. William Samurut and Rigadi Gashago are the people that never accepted, they, they, they voted against this constitution. Today, William Ruto is enjoying, Rigadi Gashago is enjoying freedom of speech, Raila Mulodinga day in, day out. When Raila Mulodinga was a minister of transport and road. Raila Mulodinga with others, they draw this road of Thika Highway. What did people say? People said that Raila Mulodinga structure was going to affect the uh, Mount Kenya uh, counties. I want to ask you a simple question. When you look at Thika Highway, who are these people who are benefiting? It is Mount Kenya region uh, Mount Kenya counties, most of them. So literally, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, I've heard Kanini Kega claiming that ODM, Raila Mulodinga sidelined them. Raila Mulodinga did not sideline you, you people. You people, you did not know how to organize yourself. After ODM, they accepted your unity in Azimio and they shared the position. You were to be given one position. Wepo was given was to be given one. ODM was to take four, but they they took two. That was Winnie Odinga and uh, Shabal from uh, from coastal region. I've had many people saying that it was wrong to elect Winnie Odinga. I want to say a simple question: Was Raila Mulodinga the person that voted Winnie Odinga? Not really. Those people that Winnie Odinga went to campaign. They voted for Winnie Odinga. This was non-business with Raila Mulodinga. The question that we are asking ourselves, if truly you are hitting Raila Mulodinga too much, this is, this is untold truth. Give Raila Mulodinga a break. The daughter of Raila Mulodinga, Winnie Odinga, is a human being, a Kenyan, citizen Kenyan, by birth. And he literally, she literally need to also to be a leader. You want to tell me today, the son of Uru Kenyatta will not come out to be a leader. The daughter of William Ruto will not come to be a leader. The, the daughter of Rigadi Gashago will not come to a leader. I've only seen Mount Kenya region leaders complaining that they elected Winnie Odinga. What's the big problem there? What's the big thing? I mean, if you want to exit as Mio, just exit. Simple and clear. That is the... the, the the, the reality, if you feel that you, the marriage is not working, get out. That's the reality. The politics is losing and gaining. And you know Jubilee is, is pressuring themselves. ODM is use of this. You make noise, you do it. At the end, you get out. There's a plan. So Kanini Kega, after winning, is now claiming Raila Mulodinga made him almost to lose. He has captured the position. Please, respect. Today, UDA has squandered all position of Yela, UDA. They never divided to ANC. They never gave to uh, any political party in uh, Kenya Kwaza. ODM was generous and they gave out the position, two positions, and they remained with the two. If ODM was bad, they could have squandered all the positions. Ladies and gentlemen, at times, 
Mount Kenya leaders are too much. Are too much about Raila Mulodinga. They are too much. In fact, literally, it is not fair and it is unfair. And this, one day, it will come to pass and will set everyone free. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my opinion. Perhaps according to the way I saw things. What are your opinion? Give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of great support. If you are a visitor, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Please consider liking this video. Bye-bye. Till you meet on another video.